Hello everyone and welcome back to Train Sim World. Yes, we are back with Train Sim World 4. Yes, we are back. Uh, please bear in mind that uh, before I record this video, I know that Train Sim World 5 comes out tomorrow when, I'm re uh, when this video goes up, but obviously I am recording this a bit in advance. This is what I've got on Train Sim World by the way. Quite a, a lot of routes actually, which I've not done on videos. There's the Cathcart Circle Line, which I might need to make a video of, uh, and another one I want to make a very office, the Peterborough to Doncaster, and several under one. Uh, we've done the Bakerloo line, we've done, I'm sure I've done the Great Western Express on a video, and I think I definitely did Sam Patch Grade when the game came out as well. So yeah, uh, yeah, they are ones we will uh, try in the future as well. And I will do a first look of Train Sim, 5, uh, Train Sim World 5 probably in October as well. Uh, but today we are going to be having a little look at the Fife Circle Lines. This released a couple of months ago or so. So we're just going to go on training modules here and we're going to do a route introduction because I want to see what this uh, game has made as a route introduction for the Fife Circle Line. I've been on this line many times in my life um, so I'm going to I'm gonna know how detailed everything is and how realistic everything is. Okay we're just going to get started here and we're going to go on to this. And um, we'll see what this is like. How are you guys doing? Uh, this is the second day of the YouTube revival. Yes, so we kicked it back off. We might saw Flight Sim. Epic. Oh, God, it's not bagpipes. Oh, no. Welcome to your first day as a trainee driver here on Scott Rail's Fife Circle Line. Edinburgh Waverley is the second busiest station in Scotland. Please, can we have a bit of volume? <laughs> Like, that would be fantastic. Dialogue is so low. Like, it's so quiet. Jeez. Can we not get a boost on the dialogue? Motion blur off. Volumetric fog. Sure. After Glasgow Central, the station serves as the northern terminus of the East Ooh. Coast Main Line, taking passengers to and from London King's Cross. Interesting. Sounds like she's reading off a script, but thanks for that. There is a missing route map over there. Fix that while you're here. Platforms 2 to 7 and 11 to 19. I know Edinburgh Waverley very well and I can tell you that is very accurate. And these stairs, there are escalators, stairs there. They're pretty accurate. We can't go that way, oh my god. That's where all the food is in there. Tickets and travel centre. Oh my god, the pastry place! That is there. I'm pretty certain that is there. Head of driver and passenger experience, Angus Stewart, would like to speak to you. Sorry? The hell's Angus Stewart? Ah, oh, that is the five circle line right there. Only goes to Mark Inch. Damn. Toilets, the toilets are in there. Can we go? Oh, no, we can't. Hello? Intru introduce yourself to Angus Stewart. What if I don't want to? Hello, how's it going? Not bad. I'm glad I've got the chance to introduce myself to you properly here before you start your training. My name is Angus Stewart, Head of Driving and Passenger Experience here on the Five Circle. I want to congratulate you on getting your role as trainee driver with us in person. It's great to have you on board. Part of my role is to improve the viability of the network and make sure all of our drivers and passengers are happy and care for whilst travelling with us. Something I think you'll be great at helping us with. Anyway, I'm sure you're keen to get started, uh, but I'll call on you if you need anything and run into problems. Thanks. Goodbye. Follow the markers to board the train Ooh. before departure. Uh, that's wrong. That is a Costa, not a Stu's Brew. <laughs> <laughs> That is wrong. That is a pret a manger, not a Kevco coffee. That is also wrong. That's a WH Smith. <laughs> oh my god. Hello. I can't remember what that is. Oh, what is that again? It's probably like some sort of other shop. Follow the markers onto the train. 14 plus 13. This is accurate, by the way. This is this is definitely accurate. Ooh, I love the modelling. Oh my god. Board the carriage. Um, okay. Take a seat anywhere you like. Oh, take a seat. Mm. I do like a table seat, but then 
you'll sometimes get like a group of four old grandmas coming on and moaning at you because you're taking a window seat on your own. Um, what one will I go for? You know what? Screw the old grandmas. We'll just go with that. On the 15th of May 1989, British Rail decided to link the inner and outer loop services together by reopening the eastern end of the old Edinburgh and Northern She's Railway definitely from reading off a script. to passenger traffic. Operation, this created a loop in the county of Fife, joining at Inverkeething Station and Glenrothes with Thornton Station. Why is there bagpipes playing this on the train? The name of the line, the Fife Circle. Please turn them off. <laughs> Ooh. Located on the route is the Fourth Bridge, first opened in 1890. The structure spans. 2,467 metres. Definitely getting a history lesson reading off a script here. 37 metres tall above its foundations. Oh my god. 200 trains use the bridge every day, carrying 3 million passengers per year, and it weighs a whopping 53,000 tonnes. Damn. What's with the weird music? Back in June 2022, Scottish Power Lines began work to electrify 65 miles of Fife Circle track between Haymarket and Dalmeny for use by electric multiple units. Great. <laughs> Further phases are planned to electrify the lines between Kinghorn, Thornton, Ladybank and Loch Gelly. This train is a BR class 170 <laughs> like diesel cares. multiple unit <clears throat> in Scotrail livery. They were first introduced into service in 1999, shortly after the privatisation of British Rail. I love how it just goes black as you go into a tunnel. You can tell that this is very obviously what they have in as the code. As a trainee driver on this route, you will drive this train across the Fife Circle. Oh really? I thought we were going to, I don't know, the Circle Line in London. Like, well obviously. Take on the busy commuter services and stunning scenery in true Scotrail fashion. Take in all that the Fife Circle Line has to offer. In true Scotrail fashion, apparently. What's this? Use safety system, uh, systems non applicable. Um, great. Thanks. Let's, let's, the class 170. I don't think we need that because that's in the training center. We want to just get on with the route. Um, I couldn't find one that goes this way and that one, that scenario was a bit weird. So, uh, when I just checked it, the scenario that we were going to do, it uh, told us to take a passenger, to be a passenger in the train for a while. So I wasn't doing that. We're here to drive, not sit and watch out. If I want to do that, I would literally go down to the train station and go on a train. Edinburgh Wherever to Mark Engine. Operate part of the Dundee commuter service from Edinburgh Wherever to Mark Engine. Let's go. Welcome to the Scotrail service to Dundee. Wait, what? Calling at Haymarket, Edinburgh Gateway. Excuse Edinburgh me? Edinburgh Keething, Aberdour, Burnt Island, Kinghorn, Kirkcaldy, Mark Inch. If you see something that doesn't wow. look right, speak to staff. <laughs> Or text the British Transport Police on six one zero one six. We'll I, sort it. See it. Say it. Stop. I did not expect that. Wow. They added. How do I open the doors? Wow. I did not expect that. That's crazy. I don't open the doors. Oh god, this is where I struggle. Oh my god, how do I open the doors? So bad. Door power? That? There we go. I had to put a key in for the doors as well. Oh, it's going to Dundee! 
Hello everyone. Use the bathroom? No. Hello. Um, that's not a good place to sit because if that opens and somebody's just done, you know, a big dump, then you're going to smell that and that's going to linger. Um, I would not be sitting there if I were you. That's the bike rack. Luggage rack. Any route maps we can get. I don't think I've got enough time for that. I'm going to run out of time. The 1100 to Dundee, calling it Burnt Island. Oh, calling it Dundee. Okay. Formed of three coaches. Oh, love that. It's got like live information now. And we've got announcements apparently as well. Lock doors. <laughs> love that. Stop at Haymarket. How do I, how do I use the train? I would love to know how to do how to move the train. I probably should have did the tutorial, but oh well. Um, are we going to be moving? Oh, let's say we're moving! <gasps> Thank God. <laughs> wow, this is awfully quiet. Can I... Okay, this needs a bit of power to get going. But it's finally going. Okay, we've got a 35 mile per hour limit. So we're going to try and stick to it. Look at that, there's Edinburgh. Damn, that was so cool. Okay, we need to slow down here. Oh my god. I kind of love this. This is... Because I've I've been on this train so much in my life, but like, oh my god. Oh, look at that. Look at those headlights. Where are the headlights? Oh my god, it's pitch black. How do I turn on the light? How do I turn on the lights? I would like to actually have a bit of sound as well. Okay, we've got a 20 mile per hour limit. We're fine. We need to be at Haymarket at 11.03. Dundee. What's this? Temperature control. Hell yeah, everybody can be warm. Nah, Scottish people, they need to, to get used to their uh, own climate. 18 degrees. If it go 16, that would be more normal for Scotland. Feel heat. Hell yeah, let's go. I don't think we should have any problems along the way in terms of in terms of uh, signals. Hopefully not. Okay, speed up now. Whoa, that was freaky. <laughs> it's a bit loud. Did I just press? I don't know, I was telling us that we're near a market. Oh wait, we've got a 90 mile per hour limit coming up in 0.6 miles. Great. That's so loud. But it's so quiet at the same time when you've not got it open. Okay, we're a bit late. Just saying. We're going to be like a minute late, I think. Because I, I was figuring out the speed control. But not too late. We will end up probably quite a few minutes late. Um, probably in the next few stations. So quiet. But then it's so loud when you open the window. Oh god, I don't know I don't know the braking capabilities of this train. I'm hoping they're good. Uh, they look alright. They feel alright, I mean. Welcome to Haymarket. Too bad. Oh god, I just put an emergency. Oops. Nice. Have a look. See if there's any 
route maps I can gather. Look at that. Not too bothered about route maps anyway. We are a bit late, a minute late or so. Oh dear, I think I locked doors a little bit early there. Okay. Got some points. Embra Gateway Platform 2 in about five minutes time. So I don't believe the Dundee train stops. Yeah, so it goes straight to Inverkeven after Inver Gateway. And then Aberdower, Burnt Island, Kinghorn, Kirkcaldy, and then Mark Inch. We'll probably stop the video at Inverkeething, probably. And then we'll do part two uh, whenever the schedule <laughs> says part two. Can I get some cabin lights in here? This would be lovely. How do I... Those wipers. Where are the lights in this train? That's the door. Train lights on. Notice board light. Okay, not really sure what that means. Okay, sure. I need some sound in here, it's so quiet. So there's seven throttles apparently. Well look at that, there's Murray Fields Stadium. Pretty cool stadium. Oh, you can't go inside it, damn it. Oh. Well, there's Murray Field anyway. <laughs> this train does not accelerate very quick, I must say. Although it will be interesting to see how what the train's like slowing down from 75 miles per hour, I must say. Because that's coming up in a mile. The frames are not too bad. They seem to be pretty decent. There is little lag spikes every now and again, which is a bit annoying. But what can you do? Train Sam Morrow has been like this since it released, so nothing you can really do. Oh yeah, you'll get to see the fourth rail bridge as well, that's pretty epic. Definitely a good upgrade from the train simulator version. Oh god, we've got... Oh, that's fine. We're not above 75 miles per hour anyway. If you see top right, you can see the next signal coming up and the next speed change coming up as well. So you can see there are 100 miles per hour and... Oh, 90 miles per hour coming up. Okay, that's fine. So this little turn means that there was a little bit of a speed drop. Not that we got to that speed anyway. But yeah. <laughs> AWS. Normal. Not really sure what that did. Oh, that's AWS reset. Let's have that. Not really sure what the right button for it is, but we'll just press it, I guess. And basically what that does, if you don't know, is if you don't press that within five seconds, the train will go into emergency brake. Um, and... It's basically the are you still awake system. It keeps the passengers safe, really. So if you're ever worried on a train about uh, the driver falling asleep, don't be. Because uh, that is there to protect you from the driver basically having a few 40 winks on the train. Okay, we're less you than a mile. arrive at Edinburgh Gateway. Edinburgh Gateway. Don't forget to take... Okay, not really sure if I'm going to be breaking on time, but we're just going to give it a go. 
see how well I do. We seem to be on time though. It's pretty good. I would say 40 miles per hour coming into the at the start of the station is pretty good. I would say. That's kind of ideally where you want to be. Any lower than break three and you're on emergency. Oh, that is almost perfect. Mm, sort of. A little bit too much, I think. The 11.10 to Dundee is one minute late, apparently. No, I am not. I am on time. Thank you very much. Any route maps I can get? God, I'm gonna... Excuse me. I love how detailed the train stations are. It's very accurate as well, I must say. Locked doors. Okay, our next station is Inverkeven in 12 minutes. Why am I going backwards? That was weird. Yeah, that's a lie. I am not too I am not a minute late. Don't know why I said that. Next train's the eleven twenty nine to Cam Beef apparently. mile per hour limit coming up. Not that we're going to get anywhere near that anyway. Whoa. Oh, is this for your fellow passenger? It's quite far away, isn't it? Uh, your fellow train driver. Don't know what these are. DSD. Sure, don't know what that is, but I'll turn it on. Vigilance, no idea. I believe on the left there is Edinburgh Airport. I think it's a little bit further down actually. Okay, we're going downhill, so we might be able to pick up speed quite quickly. Well, quick for this train anyway. <laughs> Oh yeah, there it is. See it? Playing in the distance. So yeah, this revival, I still remember the day that, uh, well, I, I can imagine, I've not, I've recorded this before then, but the day that I surprised everybody with the return of YouTube, oh my god, 1st of September, that must be insane. Must have been insane. Um, oh no. Whatever that is, I'm turning it off. <laughs> yeah, no idea what that is. Beeping. <laughs> Let's leave it. Why am I? Oh no, I think I've. Right. I think because I didn't acknowledge whatever that was, I think it just emergency break me. Fantastic. I thought I'm gonna be late. So it just emergency break me, fantastic. Not what I need. God. It's fine passengers, it's just a, uh, what do you call it? It's just a speed, uh, it's just a, what do you call it, a signal. Not. We probably lost at least a minute and a half there, I'd say. We just lost all our speed. Fantastic. Yeah, because I didn't acknowledge whatever that was I turned on. Big mistake. Is that the door for the... Oh my god, that's the doors for the right-hand side. Jesus. I lost a lot of speed there. 
probably going to get a temper key in. Not sure that's trying to tell me. I guess it's just tell, asking me if I'm still awake. <laughs> this train is atrocious at trying to speed up, especially on a 1% gradient, as you can see in the top left there. So I think it's just a little bit further and we'll get to the bridge. Oh yeah, and so back to the, the, the topic um, of conversation about the YouTube return. Uh, the, first of uh, the first of September obviously, yeah, it surprised people. But I think it was funny that I did a farewell video, not even a week before that as well. That was part of the plan, that was so much part of the plan. Um, as I explained in the video uh, on the first of September, it was part of the plan. Going downhill. Fantastic. Contact signaler. See the signals indicate. What's this? Oh, headlights. Here we go. Uh, oh, we've got a 50 mile per hour limit coming up in point nine. That must be the bridge. Uh, let's go day back up. Oh, caravans. You think we're in Wales or something? I'm just going to back off on this. Yeah, I'm going to back off on this because I'm going to need to slow down soon anyway. Sometimes you will get surprise speed changes that the game did not implement and tell you about. Which is really annoying. I can't believe Edinburgh, Edinburgh to Dundee at 11 o'clock. Drive any local for 20 miles, okay. I can't believe Edinburgh to Dundee at 11 o'clock they've got free carriages. That would be absolutely packed. Oh my god, look at it! Okay, we've managed to successfully go down to 50 miles per hour. Oh, it goes down to 40 and 2.5. We shouldn't be too bad actually, we should get in temper even on time. Look at that! Oh my god. That is pretty epic. Amazing modeling. Wow. I hate that, they've still got that in this game. The snapping, look at that. That is so annoying. I don't know why they have that still. Oh my god, that's so so nice. Emergency brake. <laughs> Yeah, emergency brake on the bridge so everybody can take falls. Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> That's pretty epic. So if it's slowing down to 45 for some reason. No, I mean, I'm accelerating. This train is so bad at powering up. Cab door release, sure. <laughs> DSD holdover, no idea what that means. Electric shock rescue and treatment. Oh my god. Damn. I think that down there is Deep Sea World. Uh, you can go in there and swim with sharks or whatever. Oh my god, I'm breaking the speed limit. 53 miles per hour. I did seem a little bit quick down there. That's the first time I broke the speed limit. Oh, the headlights are so good. Look at that. <laughs> but no, they're terrible. We're on a 1.4% decline in, in gradient. No wonder we broke the speed limit. I think we should definitely be on time to it and for keeping. It 
600 yards, we've got a 40 mile per hour speed change. Wow, it looks like they just dynamited right through here. <laughs> what the hell? Okay, 40 mile per hour speed change. I think it's for this bridge. There's Inverkeven. The dump there is. <laughs> no offence to Inverkeven. Although, sorry, there is a fence. It looks like a dumping ground, just saying. Okay, we've got two and a half minutes to get to Inverkeven. Not too bad. And we're on a, what, 50 mile per hour limit? Not a fan of the textures just loading as you get very near it though. I guess uh, in terms of like performance it's the best way to do it but yeah it's a bit. It would be nice if the announcer was a little bit louder because you can barely even hear it over the sounds of the train. Not gonna lie, that looked like that just ended that tunnel into a black hole. <laughs> okay, we're done, done not too bad, we're like a minute early. We might be able to have a little look around in Rakeven. Quite often if I'm getting on this train, um, from Inverkeven, because quite often I do. Um, usually the train is early. Oh my god, I've gone overshot. Crap, I have overshot the platform. Uh, can we please stop? Oh my god. Don't think the front car is going to get on. Maybe, will it? That should be fine. Yeah, that's fine. At least the doors are open. So passengers will need to walk or just get on down there. Disruption on the line, shock. Can I go in here? Oh my god, that is pretty accurate though. And yes, there is two ticket machines here. I know there is. Oh my god, classic for Fife. Damn. Okay, that is going to do it for part one of this two-part series on the Fife Circle Line. Uh, in the next episode, we will continue up towards Mark Inch. Ridiculous name. And uh, yeah, we'll continue up to Mark Inch in the next episode. If you enjoyed the video, please like button. If you want to keep it up to date for all the videos, come on my channel. Please subscribe. We'll see you in the next episode. See you later.